When someone says the name Bayard, you might immediately remember a 19th century stone fort off the Atlantic coast of France with an oval stone well with 20 meter high walls and an observation tower dominating it. Fort Boyard was never used according to its intended military purpose. Instead, it won international fame by becoming the production set of the renowned eponymous French TV show, which sets a wise, mysterious professor in the tower, proposing riddles to a team of daredevils who want to find hidden treasures. Now, it's our time to give Bayard new life. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tier 8 French cruiser Bayard to World of Warships. The name of our cruiser only sounds similar to the famous fort. In fact, she was named after Pierre Terrail, Seigneur de Bayard, a legendary French knight whose life bridged the 15th to 16th centuries, who was also known as the Knight Without Fear and Beyond Reproach. To create an alternate history, one needs to know very well the chain of real historical events and be able to draw correct conclusions from them. So in 1931, France signed the Rome Naval Treaty with Italy and had to abandon the development of heavy cruisers and subsequently concentrate exclusively on construction of light cruisers with artillery of a caliber of 155 mm or less. Three years later, halfway around the world, Japan constructed Mogami, a powerful light cruiser, and the first of an entire series of four ships. Her main battery consisted of five triple turrets with 155 mm guns. It meant only one thing. The French domains in Indochina, Polynesia, and New Caledonia were under threat, and it required an immediate and adequate response. Here, engineers from the World of Warships team intervened and suggested an alternative variant of French shipbuilding history and light cruiser development by creating Bayard. They based their work on the blueprints of La Galissonniere class cruisers and designed a larger ship with the same 152 mm guns, but installed in four triple turrets. They were complemented with 100 mm dual purpose guns and two triple 550 mm torpedo launchers. If you like to fight on French light cruisers in our game, Bayard will live up to your expectations. See for yourself. Firstly, her traditionally high speed. The ship can accelerate to over 40 knots with engine boost enabled and the appropriate signal mounted. Secondly, the decent firing range of her main guns, almost 16.5 kilometers, with the ability to attack the enemy from behind cover thanks to the ballistics of her shells. And thirdly, the main battery reload booster consumable will cause plenty of problems for same type adversaries in a duel, while enemy battleships will prefer to retreat under the shower of high explosive shells that you unleash upon them. If you find yourself near an enemy battleship, you can seriously harm its combat capability with a skillful torpedo launch. However, don't forget that the cruiser's armor is far from being as durable as the stone walls I'd strongly advise against testing its ability to withstand a direct salvo. When it comes to AA defenses, according to our alternate history, the anti-aircraft armament of the cruiser would have been considerably reinforced after World War II. For example, four dual-purpose 100mm twin mounts would have been replaced with contemporary models and complemented with six 57mm twin mounts. That's exactly the way this cruiser is presented in World of Warships. Good luck, captains.